just get broke. <laughs> Hey everybody, coming at you from Killarney, Ireland. This is my first time in the Emerald Isle and it is awesome so far. This is my first full day and it's just begun. So what I'm doing in Killarney is I'm attending Travel Blog Exchange, that's TBEX. And what it is, of course, it's a convention for travel bloggers. I don't run a blog, but I do run a blog. I love coming to events like this because it's so great to network, it's so great to meet new people, and just to have fun. So today, I am doing a tour that they set up. I think first we're gonna be sailing across a lake right here next to Killarney. I forget what the lake is called, honestly. What I'm really looking forward to, though, is we're going to be biking through the Gap of Dunlow. It might be like a, a 10 or 12 mile bike ride. I think it's gonna be really epic and a big adventure. So these mountains are the direction we're going. Ireland is not known for its pristine weather. Hopefully it cooperates today. There have been like rave reviews about the Gap of Dunlow and it's a very popular thing to see here in Ireland. So let's go do the thing. Which bus do I take? Ah, uh, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I hope it didn't leave me. I don't know where the bus is. I'm okay. Uh, the bus just isn't here yet. And here's the right bus. Jason, Ed Samantha, Dave? Yes. So apparently we're going across the lake on these little boats because there's uh, really narrow uh, inlets that we're going to. Oh, by the way, this is Ross Castle. Uh, apparently a guy owned this entire national park around here. His name was like O'Donegal Ross. So this castle is more like a fortress for the family that owned it and the land around it, I guess. That's what my tour guide told me. All right, now we're grabbing our own bikes and loading them onto the boat. Bicycle. Bicycle. Watch that first turn. <laughs> Hi, where's puppy? Hello. <laughs> All right, this is the one. Doc's coming with us. He is the girl's magnet, right? Go, Charlie. Charlie. The dog loves the attention. So we're on this island, and there's some deer living on this. So apparently this breed of deer is called like Japanese sika deer or something like that. So these deer, their fur is actually hollow. So it gives them the ability to float. <laughs> That's according to our guide. So what these deer do is they swim from island to island just to hang out and graze and uh, look at the abandoned monasteries and stuff. How cool is that, right? So in about the seventh century, monks just built this monastery on this island in the middle of the lake, I guess to be secluded from the rest of the world. It was attacked by Vikings and like uh, powerful families. Not sure why they wanted to bother the monks, but. Back to the boats. You guys, Ireland is so beautiful. Even though that boat ride was really wet, it was awesome to see all the amazing scenery and the animals. But now hopefully the wet part of the day is over. We stopped at this little cottage. I got a hot cup of soup to warm me up. Yep, I'm still really wet though. Yeah. Now I think we're about to start our bike ride. We'll be biking through the Gap of Dunlow, which I'm very excited about. All right, got my bike. This thing is actually pretty nice. Yeah, here we go. Let's do this thing. I 
think it broke. So it appears the chain on my bike broke. I think I might have to pick up another one from this guy. Be a better height. Okay. Uh, do you want to just see how that height is? The saddle height, I mean, if you take it down. So I'm back up and running on a different bike. All good. So it's at least three, maybe four kilometers uphill for the first part of the Gap of Dunlow. It's beautiful, but it's hard work, even in the lowest gear. I think I'm almost there though. So this is the top of the gap. <laughs> Our last point of difficult bike riding. It's all downhill from here, meaning we'll be riding the brakes a lot. These mountains actually remind me a lot of the Tongariro National Park in New Zealand. Some of you saw that video, and who knew that mountains this high were here? Here comes the rain, we're off again. I think we're almost done with our bike tour. The rain is so on and off right now. Getting a couple opportunities for photos and it's pretty spectacular. Gap of Dunlow is gorgeous. So we are done with our bike ride. Got an Irish coffee. Uh, it is so wonderful right now. How was the bike ride everybody? It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> It was an experience of a lifetime. Guinness for strength. So our last stop of today is a local bar uh, with live music. It looks very traditional, very cute. I'm really liking it. And when I come home again, I never again will Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been in Ireland one day. I am already in love with the country. I'm not in love with the rain, but the rest of it is tops. There's more adventures in Ireland to come, so be sure to subscribe for more of that. <laughs> Click the thumbs up if you liked the video. Follow me on my social media. Peace out, you guys are awesome. Take care.